What's up, everyone? Pumpkin here. So, new leader, Detlaf. Uh, Detlaf is the new monster leader. It allows you to damage a unit by two. Uh, you have three charges. And the death blow is summon an Ekimara and summon it to a random allied row. Um, Ekimaras are two strength. So, worst case scenario, this is a six, right? Three pings of two. Best case scenario, you get the death blow on all of them, and it's a 12, which is really good. Um, the beauty of Detlaf is he's super, super good in a control deck because you can kill anything. Uh, you combo this with a bunch of cards that do damage and then any card between the numbers of like three and six, you just kill. You do four damage and then you Detlaf it. Um, it helps you set up cards like Proto Flutter, which we'll get into. It helps you set up uh, Gorgon. It's just a really good card or a really good leader. Probably the best control leader in the game. I would say this is much better than Ethne. Um, it's better than Bruver. And it's in the monster faction, and monsters have crones, and crones are really good. This card, or this leader is really strong. I would probably say it's the strongest leader in the game right now. Good leader. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a very heavy control list. Um, starting off the top, uh, Vigo's Muzzle. V uh, Muzzle is very good. So many engines are being run. It's super strong against Detlaf. Detlaf is very, very popular right now. Uh, it's a 20-point gold. This deck can deal with Detlaf in four different ways, so... Very, very strong against uh, Detlaf. I'll pull up Detlaf uh, in case some of you guys don't know who I'm talking about. So Detlaf, um, it's 10 provisions, 5 strength. When it dies, it resummons on the row, and you can do it three times. And you can do it all in the same turn. So a very popular combo is you play Detlaf. The next turn, you play Karen, and you use all three Karen triggers, and you eat it all three times. Uh, and this card becomes worth 20 points. That's crazy. Uh, very strong card. Yeah, very strong card. Uh, to the point where everybody is running like hard hard counters to it, including the the new uh, Crimson Curse card, Regis Bloodlust, which allows you to banish it. Um, so Muzzle is another very good card uh, to counter Detlef because Detlef is at five. Um, yeah, it's just a good card. It's a very strong control card. It's good against cards like Aquavis, Spork, or really any. I mean, the magic number on strong engines is something around like four or five. So uh, Muzzle almost always gets value. Very good card. Uh, Proto Flutter, another new card. Um, this one's a bit interesting. It is a 10 for 10 best, best, bleh, best case scenario. Um, it can be a 7, but because of Detlaf, you typically can bring cards down if you really need to. Uh, and because the deck has so much damage, the odds of this card not getting value are pretty low. Um, and in a control deck, it's very strong. What's beautiful is the highest it can go to is 7, right? Because of the drain, uh, which plays around Geralt, which is really nice. So, um, very, very good card. Um... Very good in control. I wouldn't say it's like an auto include in monsters, but in a control deck, good card. Geralt. A lot of people are playing Gorgon, like a lot of people. This card is one of the strongest cards in the set. It's an 11 for nine. An 11 for, that's crazy. Um, the contingency is you need one of your opponent's cards at one, um, which is pretty easy to do when you have a flexible leader that can do two damage and your whole entire deck does two damage. Um, this card is nuts. Very super strong card. To the point where everyone's running Geralt. Because Geralt obviously counters uh, Gorgon. So I started running Geralt too for Gorgon. Because there's so much Gorgon. Um, yeah, very strong card. Uh, because so many people are running Gorgon. Uh, to the point where it might actually be correct to pull Gorgon out of the list. Um, and this is where you kind of want last say with this deck. Uh, in Mirrors, because they do run Geralt. I typically save Gorgon for the very, very end of the game to play around Geralt. Um, yeah. So, Carol, good card. Ifrit, Bloodlust. I've talked about these cards in the past. Super strong. The meta is super engine-oriented, uh, so anything with removal is good. Works very well with Detlaf. If your opponent plays a 5 or a 6-point engine, you play Enrage, Ifrit, Bloodlust, whatever, uh, and then you finish it all with, off with Detlaf. Very strong card. Uh, Bloodlust, we, same thing as Ifrit, except you can remove Harpy Eggs, and it's good against Detlaf. You make sure to do it in the right order. Um, you want to debt laugh with your leader first, and then you bloodlust, right? If you do it in the opposite order, you will get a debt laugh, uh, death blow, and you'll get a two-point Ekimara, and your opponent will get another debt laugh back. So be be very careful. Um, you want to use your leader first, get it to three strength, and then play bloodlust. Gorgon, I mentioned earlier, super strong card. The condition is you have to you have to find a one. Really, really easy when you play debt laugh as leader, and with all the damage in the deck, very strong card. Uh, Crohn's super, super strong. Don't need to talk about them. Parasite. Um, Parasite's removal, and removal is good. If your opponent plays an Aquavis and boosts it to seven, you can Parasite it and then play Detlaf. Um, it's just more removal, and removal is good. 
it's a six for six worst case scenario you boost one of your cards in a in a mirror you can boost so that you have dominance with uh proto and wild hunt rider good card uh Nithril. this is a flex card you can drop it if you want i like it because some people play artifacts uh, there's a decent amount of artifacts on ladder um people are still playing sunning circle uh square to always run costume trap especially dana it's a good card keep it worst case scenario it's a proactive play in round three and it's not even that bad good card uh wild hunt riders auto include in every monster deck great card great card uh if i lose coin flip and i go first i typically open with these um, if I win coin flip, I usually don't play them because I usually play three cards and get out of the round um, because I don't need to win round one. Control decks don't need to win round one. Uh, the only time control, unless, unless you're in a mirror. If you're in a mirror, um, you want to win round one because you don't want them garroting your uh, Gorgon. So, yeah. Uh, Northern Wind. New Crimson Curse card. Damage a unit by four, death blow, banish it. So obviously really good against death laugh with your, uh, with your leader. Uh, it's good against engines, and we're in an engine meta. It helps you kill any 5 or 6 strength engine. Uh, it's good against Harpies. It's a great card. I love it. I love damage. I love this card. Great card. Uh, we have Moondash, which is another damage card by 4. Uh, it does have Purify on it, so against Northern Realms, you can pop off the shield if they protect an engine. So against Northern Realms, this card's really, really strong. Um, what I do like about Gwent is flexibility on techs. So... If for whatever reason you're queuing into a lot of Northern Realms, you can cut out a Northern Wind and put in another Moon Dust so that you have a better time against Northern uh, against Northern Realms with all their shields. So uh, you can switch these around however you like, depending on what you're facing. Very strong card. Good against Vitality too. Good card. Uh, Wyvern, just a solid bronze card. It's a five. It does damage. Damage is good in a control deck. If your opponent plays a four point engine, you can play Wyvern plus leader. <laughs> It's a good card. Anything that has the word damage on it is a good card in a control deck. Great card. If your opponent doesn't remove it, you might get a few ticks on the Thrive. Wild Hunt Hound. More damage. Um, typically, you have the highest unit because you're monsters, and because we're in an engine meta, it means people aren't playing very tall. Wild Hunt Hound can sometimes just kill three-point engines, and that's really good. Another good card. Drowner. Oh, look. More damage. Um, this card has damage on it. This card has Thrive on it. It's a good card. It has movement if your opponent uh, plays a uh, road dependent card. You use Drowner to move it out. Cutthroat. Uh, it's a neutral, but guess what it does? It does damage. Um, yeah, it does damage. So, And it's a 5 for 4. It does damage. Helps you <laughs> set things up. Uh, it's a good card. Plumard. Strictly better than Cutthroat. Um, but does the same thing. It bleeds. If you have both of them in your hand, the second one bleeds for four. It does damage. You like damage. Yeah. Um, play style. You don't have to win round one unless it's a mirror. Try to win round one if it's mirror. Um, save your debt laugh ticks if you can. Kill everything. Win the game with Gorgon and Proto Flutter if you didn't blow it already. Yeah. You play it like a control deck. You kill everything. It's a really fun deck. Uh, in terms of control, I think this is the best. Very, I'm not saying this list is the best, um, but I think Detlaf is the strongest control in the game because so many of the bronzes have damage attached to them. They have high tempo with like Wild Hunt Riders and Proto Flutter, um, and your leader is so so flexible, uh, and it can just be so many points in round three. It can be up to twelve points in round three, which is just so many points. Very strong leader. Very strong leader. Um, it's a lot of fun. If you like control decks, I highly recommend you try the deck. Um, you're, you're not going to find a better control archetype in the game at the moment. Like, it puts Ethne to shame, which is kind of sad. But it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, I played against this guy before. Uh, there is no other way. Chat, when do you guys think they're going to get the leader skins for Reward Tree? You think that'll happen anytime soon? Not bad. Twenty seventy-seven. Yeah, but that's when Cyberpunk is coming out. They can't both come out at the same time. Cyberpunk is never coming out. Not with that attitude, it won't. Wait, which goes first? Bleed or shield?
I guess we'll find out. I have no idea. I don't know if the ability goes off first or the bleed goes off first. Bleed shield? As in, sorry, not which goes off first. Like, does this, you know what I mean. We'll find out. Okay. I don't want to boost the 5, it plays into XT. This plays into XT, but we saved Waiting 2 points. I mean, I should probably kill it. Let's make something. Nice control, two engines on board. Hey! Don't be rude! We don't have to remove everything, we just have to remove the important things, and this card's not important. Alright. Chat. Nasty business, that. Not very good, is it? Maybe he does poor math and he plays a two here. <laughs> I don't know. We're done. All my cards are removal. I want to save them for later. Well, this isn't. I guess we could have played this. We don't need to win this round. I mean, if he tries to bleed us, we have Hun Riders. Maybe he'll play a two. Maybe he'll play a three. Three's not enough either. Because he takes two ticks on the thing. Magic can work wonders. Oh shucks. <laughs> sure, whatever. Um Geralt will Geralt go off? Infantry? Yeah, it'll go off. That's pretty funny. Alright, free card advantage for Pumpkin! Bleed is too hard. Set pretty funny. Fly. Hmm. I mean, nice five point muzzle is not bad. Plays around Necromancy, which I guess is kind of cute. The north, Tamaria. Left, <laughs> right, left. Nice. Hog. You guys think this is good? Kudu, kud, kud, kudak, kud, kud, kudak. It looks like JJ Pathak. Anti close. Oh no. The old bomb card would have done well against this. Do I really need to kill this? No, I have no respect for this card. Best premium? I like this premium better. Personally. Oh, he's gonna shield it! No way! Alright, we have to leave it be so that we can Geralt in three turns. <laughs> no. <laughs> Does that have any? She has a nice personality. Uh, you mean personalities? Banned? I, was like, I can say that, maybe. Can I not say that? I think I can say that. 
Delete mod. What do you mean? I, I can say that. A I think. To a duel, I challenge thee. Ah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> This Carol's getting so much value. Oh. Don't you think it should be at least 12p? Um, I'm okay with it. I would say 11. The reason why it's like somewhat balanced is because they introduced cards like this and they introduced cards like uh, Regis, which have Banish. If they didn't introduce those types of cards, then yes, it would need to go to like 12 because it would be broken. But because they added ways to deal with it, I'm okay with it because it can be a 5 for 10. Oh, another mirror. Yay. <laughs> Please play my busted Calanthe deck. Uh, do you have a link? I'll take a look at it. I can't promise anything. That laugh meta? I mean, he's really, really good. Monster got best cards? That's a funny thing. They didn't even get that much. They got debt laugh and they got debt laugh. That's it. <laughs> That's the extent of what they got. Alright, what else did they get? Um, they got this card. This card's not OP. It's just it's just like a solid card, and that's really it. That's all that monsters got. Nothing crazy. Proto Flutter. Yeah, Proto Flutter is a good card. I wouldn't say it's OP. I would say it's a balanced card because it is a risk reward type of card. It is a seven for ten sometimes. Oh. I feel like that's risky. Queen Colin. Is it a Hubert deck? Wait, I don't understand. Ava round three. Oh, Calanthe Natalis. Ava round three equals GG. Is it? I don't think that's true. Like, okay, sure, Ava on Natalis is cute, but it doesn't win you the game. It's not game winning. You get zeal on everything? I mean, yeah, I guess. Is that worth an entire leader? I mean, you seem to think so. I'll give it a try. It looks interesting, I guess. Don't be rude. My biggest issue is how do you get to round three? We can try it. It's different. It's a different type of deck, so I'm willing to give it a go. Um, you just two zero? No, I meant like how do you not get two zero? Is my question. One thing Natalis fall, fails at is actually surviving around. Calanthe will help you at least get value out of him. Well, the idea is with Alva, right? I think that's kind of the idea, kind of the point. Yeah, we'll try it. I, I want to try uh, Orphan Tears Fall Blood list. Uh, try, which do you guys, which would you rather for next game? Fall Blood? Or Calanthe. Pick. Both? Well, I can't play both at once. I am physically unable to play two decks at one time. I don't have that magic ability yet. Calanthe, Straw Blood. Ada? Ada wasn't one of the options. <laughs> Proactive. Multi box with two accounts? I'm not doing that. It's too much effort. 
Basically empty one by a mile. Yeah. We can play both. Work for your Twitch chat? I'm trying. I banished the other, right? Round one. Just gotta double check. Aridin got murdered? Yeah, Aridin got slaughtered. Which I'm okay with. Um, I wish he had gotten another provision, but honestly, I'm okay with the fact that he got slaughtered. Um, the reason being, he was kind of silly. I didn't like the fact that he could just give a unit immunity and there was no counterplay. One of the most frustrating decks in the game to play against is Slizzard if you didn't have like Urden or Scorch. Um, because if you were playing like a control deck, you just lose the game. And it just, it just didn't feel very good. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of that personally. I need to save this for that laugh. I was gonna, I was gonna hit this and then, but like it saves me two points if he plays, uh, whatever. Should get some thematic ability related to Wild Hunt. Sure, sure. I mean, I don't like his ability right now. Maybe give it more boost. I think I'd be okay with that, I guess. Do I have last say? No. I can just rip the Gregorian early. Oh. <laughs> Guess not. I sense your pain. I see your fear. Please indexy. Is Oshimed quitting Gwen? No, he found a new deck, that laugh. He loves control. He loves control as much as I do. Um, and there's a new monster leader that is easily, arguably, the best control leader in the game. So I think Ocean's fine. I don't think he gives a shit that Aaron got nerfed. Cause that laugh is just much better. It fits his playstyle. I think Ocean's happy. What is that four base power on the far left? Oh, this guy? Um, damage an enemy unit by one. Uh, death blow, so if you kill the card, boost self by six and gain shield. So assuming you play it and you meet the condition, it's an 11 for nine, which is really, really good. It's why it's so popular. Very popular card, very good card too. Hmm, I keep holding on to this, I guess. Do I have high unit? I don't have high unit. I guess I can do this. Sure, it's not ideal, but it's gonna happen at some point. It plays into Geralt, but the reality is I don't have last say, so we're always playing into Geralt. Uh, and Philo probably knows that I like this card. So the odds of this card living is close to zero. Is a shield unit destroying sword good? No. Playing that card strictly for this is bad. The only meta where, or the only scenario where that card would actually be good is... I can wait a turn, I guess. I like spear type. It doesn't hurt to wait. We have high unit. The only scenario where that card is good is if Infantry meta is, well, meta. Infantry. Uh, Tritum infantry. 
They've tried them infantry, and people are going crazy on the boost with, like, uh, Night Guard or whatever it's called. Another card that boosts by 7. If people are playing that, I think it's pretty good. But that's not the case. This isn't melee, right? Yeah, okay. Ooh, that's a new animation. I think we win. We're prepared if his last card is Detlaf Karen. Mm, sure. Big tight, tall unit. No reason not to. His leader is worth 12 minus 1. I think we lose. Uh, depends on his last card, obviously. Oh.